now in this lecture we will talk about the differential cryptanalysis so differential differential cryptanalysis so in the differential cryptanalysis as per from the linear cryptanalysis there are certain differences so the first uh, difference is um, in the differential cryptanalysis the number of bits in the input means plain text should not be equal to number of bits in output means cipher the second point is differential cryptanalysis is non uniform in nature because the number of input and the number of output is not same so differential cryptanalysis is not uniform in nature and the third point is in the differential cryptanalysis we have to perform we have to perform chosen cipher text attack in the differential cryptanalysis we have to perform only the chosen cipher text attack in the linear cryptanalysis we have to perform two types of attack the first one is known plain text and the second one is known cipher text but in the case of differential cryptanalysis we have to perform only the chosen cipher text attack and this chosen cipher text will depend on the probability distribution table probability distribution table and this table is public in nature means it is visible and it is understandable to all of the users all of the attackers in the communication so there are four points and again in the differential cryptanalysis what is the s box nature in the non cryptanalysis linear cryptanalysis and the differential cryptanalysis it is uniform and at the differential cryptanalysis it is non uniform so in the differential cryptanalysis my diagram will be like this is our plain text of 3 bits encryption procedure uses the xor function key is again 3 bits now here is the s box substitution box of the nature 3 cross 2 means s box takes 3 bits of input and generates 2 bit of output and your cipher text having only the 2 bits that is the reason that differential cryptanalysis is non uniform in nature because the number of bits in the input is not same as the number of bits in the output so it is non linear in nature and that is called the differential cryptanalysis also in order to uh, do the differential cryptanalysis we have to perform the chosen cipher text attack and this chosen cipher text attack will depend on the probability distribution table this probability distribution table for this diagram that is 3 cross 2 as box is uh, here so this diagram is uses that is called the probability distribution table for s box 3 cross 2 design now there are certain questions regarding it example for the differential cryptanalysis in the differential cryptanalysis the relationship p1 xor p2 as well as c1 xor c2 does not properly holds because there is a 
mediator in between that is called as box and here the XOR function will takes P and key as an input and generates X as an output which is again 3 bits long. Now 3 bits that is X is makes an input for the as box table and generates 2 bits of the output. So the direct relation between the P and the cipher tax is not estimated in the form of in the term of differential capital analysis. So this direct relationship does not hold here. This case is true for the linear capital analysis but does not hold true for the differential capital analysis because there is a mediator X is in between. And this X is used to perform the mapping. Now the definition of differential capital analysis is in order to find out the key in the linear capital analysis also we have concentrated in order to find out the key such that we can generate the uh, plain text from the cipher text so in the case of differential capital analysis like the same way we have to find out the key in order to find out the key in order to find out the key we have to identify the proper mapping we have to identify a proper mapping between plain text differences and cipher text differences why we call it differences because in the galois field all of the addition and the subtraction operation will be termed as addition and the subtraction operation will be termed as a xor function so here we can see that this is a differences in the plain text and this is a differences in the cipher text and we have to identify the proper mapping between these differences in the differential capital analysis in order to find out the key that is the only concept behind the differential capital analysis so example says that uh, p1 xor p2 that is example p1 xor p2 is given to you that is 0 0 1 and c1 xor c2 is given to you that is 1 1 but this is not the linear capital analysis so that relation that is p1 xor p2 equal to c1 xor c2 does not hold true for the differential capital analysis we have to find out the proper mapping now we have to use the chosen cipher tax attack chosen cipher tax attack in this attack, the attacker choose one cipher text from the sender's computer. Suppose this is C1 and the another one is C2. So we can, from the two bits, we can estimate what are the different combinations like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So after performing, after choosing two bits, sorry, after choosing two bits, 1, after choosing two bits, oh ho, like uh, first value and second value. And after performing the XOR, my output should be come out 1 1. So, what should be the what will be the first value and what will be the second value in this case so we have to just hit and trial in order to find all the values of the corresponding cipher text so the first value can be 0 0 and 1 1 and at the XOR of 0 0 and 1 1 is 1 1 and the second can be 0 1 and 1 0 and the XOR is 1 1 
so which one we have to choose like this one combination or this one combination this will this decision has to be taken care by the by this table where this table this one this table so my first value is c1 equal to 0 0 and c2 equal to 1 1 and XOR of C1 XOR C2 equal to 1 1. So for C1 XOR C2 1 1 and my P1 XOR P2 is 0 0 1. Means we have to choose this value. Sorry, not this. This value 0 0 1 in which we have to identify the C1 and C2 value. So suppose if I am choosing C1 equal to 0 0 and C2 equal to 1 1. So C1 equal to 0, 0 in the case of 0, 0, 1, the probability is 0 0.25. And for the C2, 1, 1, the probability is 0 0.50. Uh, so for P1 X or P2, 0, 0, 1. If I am choosing C1 equal to 0, 0, then the probability is 0 0.25. And if I am cho choosing 1, 1, then the probability is 0 0.50. What is the total collection? The total collection is 0 0.75. So it should be good. Now check for the second combination. C1 and C2. My second combination is 0, 1 and 1, 0. So what is the total probability? That is 0, 1. For 0, 1 it is 0 0.25. And for the 1, 0 it is 0. And the total probability for C1 x or C2. Probability is 0 0.25. So it is not the good value. So we have to cross this and we have to go forward to what this value that is C1 equal to 0, 0 and C2 equal to 1, 1. C1 equal to 0, 0 and C2 equal to 1, 1. So now from C1 equal to 0, 0. From the known cipher tax attack, C1 equal to 0, 0, my P1 is 0, 1, 0. And for C2 equal to 1, 1, my P2 is 0, 1, 1. So there can be different different combinations of P1 and P2. So you can check it one by one like P1 equal to 0, 1, 0 and P2 equal to 0, 1, 1. How can it is possible like P1 XOR P2 is given to you? That is uh, 0, 0, 1. So we have to identify the value of P1 and the value of P2 such that after performing the XOR operation, my, outcome, uh, my outcome should be 0, 0, 1. So there can be different different combinations of P1 X or P2. So one such combination is P1 equal to 0, 1, 0 and P2 equal to 0, 1, 1. There may be different different combinations. You can check all of them. But I am going towards this value only. So if C1 equal to 0, 0 and C2 equal to 1, 1. So from this... Uh, yeah, from this diagram we can say there is a S box in between and here is X. Now we have to perform the mapping table. This mapping table is like this way. Mapping table is. It is given to you as box table. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so in this case it is 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 and 0 0 so this is your x and this is your c so from this
sorry for the delay so my c1 is my c1 is 0 0 and my plane tax is 0 1 0 my c2 is 1 1 and my plane tax is 0 1 1 so in this case if i am choosing c1 equal to 0 0 if I am choosing C1 equal to 0, 0, so for that C1 equal to 0, 0, what are the possible values of x? The possible value of x is 1, 0, 1 and the second one is 0, 0, 1. So x1 is 1, 1 and 1 1 1 or 0 0 1 now xi equal to 0 0 1 in this case so you can see that x equal to what is the x value simple p xor k so for the k value it should be k xor p what is the x value 0 0 1 what is the p value p value is 0 1 0 and what is the possible outcome the outcome will be 0 1 1 in the same way you have to check for the second one like if x1 equal to triple 1 and then k equal to x1 xor p1 and it will be 1 1 1 xor 0 1 0 and it is 1 0 1 now if you are choosing if c2 equal to 1 1 for c2 equal to 1 1 my p2 is 0 1 0 so in this case if x2 what will be the value of x2 in this case so from the table you can see where is my table Yeah, this one so from c2 equal to 1 1 my value will be 0 0 0 and the second one is 1 1 0 so 0 0 0 and 1 1 0 0 0 0 or 1 1 0 so like in the same way you have to calculate x2 xor p2 so 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 my outcome is 0 1 1 like the same way you have to calculate for the second term like 0 uh, 0 what is the value 1 1 0 and 0 1 1 and outcome is 1 0 1 so your key value can be 0 1 1 or 1 1 0 from the previous case it is zero one one and again I'm not trying for the zero one one so for the key k it is zero zero one and XOR zero one zero not trying for the one 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 so one 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 and zero one zero 1 1 1 0 1 0 is 1 0 1 so you can see your key value can be 1 0 1 or uh, sorry 1 1 0 or 0 1 1 so from the starting if there is a combination is given to you from this example that p1 x or p2 equal to 0 0 1 and c1 x or c2 equal to 1 1 so there are 50 percent chance that is in the question it is given to you so the key can be your key can be 0 1 1 or 1 1 0 key can be 0 1 1 or 1 1 0 so they are 50% chance that